Hello and welcome to Small Room Audio. This is our Hi-Fi gift guide. Right, the Hi-Fi gift guides. Now, as audiophiles, we're not the easiest people to buy gifts for. Why is that? Well, our tastes are quite expensive and most of the kit that we really desire is out of reach for our friends and family. So this guide is meant to essentially give them access to the world of crazy hi-fi and give us gifts that we're going to love but without breaking the bank. So what have we got first up? Well, remember the 80s, remember tapes and most specifically, do you remember, yep, you got it right, do you remember those tapes? Mixtapes, that's right, mixtapes. Yeah, we're not going to do that but we're going to do the modern equivalent and that is a playlist on Tidal, Spotify or Cobuzz. Why don't we make one for each other, for our hi-fi buddies, to show the kind of things we've been listening to this year. Maybe it's your favourite test tracks for dynamics or mid-range vocals, uh, or maybe it's a song that's actually moved you and meant something to you and there's a story behind it. I'd also suggest if you're doing it for friends and family and loved ones, why not write listening notes? A bit like when you buy some wine and you get tasting notes. Write some listening notes, make it personal, and it's absolutely free. And I would love to get that as a present. So if you're listening, Mrs. Small Room Audio, let's see if you can come up with that for me. And actually, I'll start you off in the comments box below with some of my favorite songs of this year in a playlist. And why don't you share yours as well? That's number one on the Hi-Fi gift list. Number two on our Hi-Fi list, that is isolation products. Now, not high-end isolation products. In fact, I'm gonna go quite the opposite. Let's start off with a little bit of Blu-Tac. I know, bear with me on this, but if you haven't tried it already or you haven't read about it, put a little bit of Blu-Tac on the bottom of your speakers just to decouple it from the stand, and that gives you a bit of acoustic isolation, and it does work, and it's very cheap, and actually it's quite a cool little jokey or, or stocking filler present for someone that is into hi-fi and hasn't tried it before. Moving up from that, you could also display your hi-fi products on chopping boards. It's what I do. I actually nicked this idea from um, John Darko. I think he used some IKEA bamboo chopping boards to display some amplifier equipment, and that's exactly what I do with my system. Mainly it makes them look good, but there is an element of isolation there as well. And if you want to spend a little bit more money, of course, you can go for something from, I don't know, ISO Acoustics or, or A Another that gives you those proper isolation pucks and I do use those for some of my bookshelf speakers. Do I think they make a huge difference? Yeah, but you know, they're quite a cool present as well if you want to spend 50 quid or more. Anyway, that's number two on our gift list. So number three on the gift list is a laser measuring device. I've actually done a video about this before. Um, what it is, is it, it allows you to measure the distance between yourself and the speakers you have the speakers in the back wall, the front wall and the sides, and you can be very lazy because you don't need to get tape measure out, you can just do it from your chair. Of course, lots of people say, don't bother doing that, just use your ears, and that's perfectly valid too. My friend also said to me that, you know, if you do think this laser measuring device is completely pointless, at the very least, you can tease the cat with a laser as well. Laser. So number four on our gift list, well, here we've got a vinyl picture frame. I just randomly spotted this when I was looking for gifts for myself for Christmas from a company called audiofair.co.uk. I'm sure they're not the only ones that sell it, I have no affiliation with them, but that's where I saw it, so that's where I'm going to tell you you can get it from. It's about £40, and what it essentially lets you do is take one of your vinyl covers, put it in the picture frame, and then put it up on the wall. And when you get bored of that one, just stick a different one in. It's great, you can change your art with your music. Art and music combined. What a wonderful thing this is. Number four on the gift list. Number five on our gift list is an Umic One microphone from Mini DSP. You can get one of these and measure the acoustic properties of your listening room. So see if you've got any problems with treble or a bass null or high and see whether you need to get any acoustic paneling or indeed any sort of digital processing, <gasps> if you like that sort of thing, to try and make your room sound a little bit better. It's quite good fun because the software that you can download to go with it is absolutely free. That's R-E-W RU software. Play around with it, become an expert or just dabble in it. It's quite good fun and it's a gift that's basically available under £100. The Umic One microphone. That's number five. So number six on the list are broadband absorbers. You can get them from a number of different manufacturers. I've got mine from GIK Acoustics and that's the 242 broadband absorber range. I think three of them will set you back 170 pounds. So it is getting a little bit more expensive. So you have to really love this person if you're gonna get them this gift. However, you can find really good deals on eBay and even the GIK Acoustics secondhand store. 
Now, what do they do? Well, you want to put one at each of the first reflection points on your walls, and what that does is really open up the soundstage and make, make imaging pinpoint and precise. It's a fantastic difference, and it really is something I'd recommend you do as one of the first things to improve your overall sound and listening experience. Number seven on our gift list, well, that's not for the hi-fi lover at all. It's their long-suffering families because they're the ones that allow us to do all that fantastic listening in the first place. And we need to say thank you for allowing us to take time out of real life and spend it in the world of audio because it can be quite a lot of time and, you know, they've been really kind to us. So remember that perfume, bunch of flowers, nice necklace, toys, PlayStation, whatever it might be, say thank you to those that let us carry out the hobby that we love. And as a shameless plug, you could, for example, buy them a, an original print of some original cute art, perhaps even from an Etsy shop called Cute Life Collection UK, because that's run by Mrs. Small Room Audio. I'll flash up a link and put one in the description as well. Shameless plug over, I just told her that I would tell everyone about her fantastic artistic shop. Okay, look, gift guide over, shameless plug over. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did like this video, please do like and subscribe. Have a lovely Christmas, lovely birthday, whatever it is that you're buying for, and we'll see you back here very soon.